Well, welcome back. Here I am. Now I got this little guy, uh, this little pair, uh, all finished carving. I cleaned up a lot of the little fuzz marks and stuff, and did some detail work, uh, like the like the, like the eyebrow or the brows and the uh, marks on the forehead and that kind of thing. Um, and I have uh, I've put a finish nail in for the stem. The first couple of these I started carving. Um, I would carve this stem and then it seems like when I was wiping finish off and that kind of thing I'd break that little stem off so I put the put the finish nail in there and I kind of like kind of like the way that that turned out so that's the way I've been doing these little guys so far all right well the first thing that we do with this is we paint uh, paint the eyes white and I don't use I don't use full white I use kind of an ivory ivory color this one's called well it's called ivory uh, so and we just paint in the make sure I got it in. paint the eyes this is nothing nothing fancy here And if we paint the eyes white first, when we put the other colors on, that kind of keeps that color from penetrating into the into the eyeball. So, so there that step is done. And when I start doing the rest of the painting, I've I've made one of these little. It's just a just a piece of scrap wood with a screw. In the bottom of it and I like to screw it into the bottom of the carving and then I got that to hold on to while I'm painting so first thing we do with these and I kind of learned this from Doug Linker uh, one of his videos he was doing apples and the first color he painted on them was yellow and that I like the way that 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 uh, turned out on here so that's what I've I've kind of done on these on these uh, these pairs so we'll just paint the whole thing this color yellow with a very washed out watery watery color yellow and this one is a Joe Sonia color and I can't remember for sure it, it's just called uh, yellow light I gotta remember to get this so it's in the camera all the time. And I just paint over the eyebrows and and uh, paint the whole works yellow. And keep watering that paint down so that's just a wash. Boy, I tell you what, put it on that stick and it's kind of hard to get it so that you folks can see this. So I'll just go ahead and get some yellow paint on my fingers. When you put the paint on this thin, it it does uh, it dries fast enough so that you can put a second a second coating. Uh, and in this case, I'm going to put some green on here. Oh, and I forgot to mention, be sure and be sure and put your name and the date on things that you carve because it is so easy to forget <laughs> when you carve something, especially especially the older you get. All right. 
All right, and then we're gonna switch it up to the green color. And this, this color I'm using on this thing is just called camouflage. And here again, the first coat of this you put on is very, very thin. All right, and then after you get a thin coat of that green on, if you want to, you could just leave it that that light, and uh, it can be, you know, a pear pear that's a little bit riper, I guess, than uh, than the other one. So, uh, or or you can just go over it again with just a coat of the thicker paint without watering it down too much. And just put random, random up and down strokes on here. Make sure you get up into his nostrils. All right, that is pretty much what you do for the green part of this. And for his eyes, I've been using um, just another color green. It's just called fern green. It's a little bit more, more of a vibrant colored green. And here's where you can kind of have fun with, with any of these little kind of carvings that I do. Uh, depending on where you put the eyeball on these things, you can have him looking down or looking up. I think on this one, I'm going to have him looking a little bit down. We just put an eyeball there. Uh, that's where the eye is going to go. And make sure you just get them lined up across from each other so that they look like they're looking in the exact same spot. And there's the colored part of the eye. And then when that dries a little bit, we'll put a black dot in there. And then the other thing I'm, I do on this, and it's going to work the best when it's uh, uh, completely dry, but I'll start showing you what it looks like um, while it's still a little bit wet. And I just take a, a, a brown Sharpie and, and I start, you know, putting, putting these dots like pears have all over them. You put the, randomly just put dots all over the whole thing. And I think on some cases there's white dots on them too. So, um, you know, use your imagination and make it whatever you like. All 
there you kind of get the picture on that just do that over the whole thing and I'm going to run that hair dryer on here just a second so that I can paint, uh, paint the black on those eyes. And then I also use one of my favorite brown colors here is called Asphaltum. And I'm going to paint the stem. And then down in here a little bit where it, oops, around the top. Just put a little bit of black on the tip of your smallest brush and go in there and just dot the center. And try to get them about the same size too. So there, there he is, kind of, kind of all finished. We'll wait for him to dry a little bit more, and I'll put some more of those little brown dots on there, and. There's your pair, and it kind of goes with with all these pairs. You can get yourself a whole basket full of them. Oops. Oh, sorry, they're falling all over. All right, thanks for watching.